you compete just like the master. Learn from his teachings of evil. Yes, we can. <laughs> Welcome Reaper Miniature fans! Today we have a Frost Giant Warrior that we'll be painting. Here's a little 360. This is a beautifully sized miniature and goes really well with your tabletop miniatures. I'm going to be mounting this onto a 75mm base boss base. And today I've got some gravel and it was from Orkney. Um, my partner went there on holiday to meet one of our close friends, Frances. And she got me some nice Orkney stones and bits of gravel from the beaches there. So I'm going to be using that for my base today, which is a, quite a coarse gravel. But I think it'll be beautiful with some snow effects over the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the mini to the base, get the PVA glue on, put on the gravel, and then I'll give it the undercoat and we'll come back and move on from there. Because this was a original bones material, I couldn't use my spray primer. So what I did is the blocking in of colors with the uh, old bones miniatures, including the bones black. You don't have to put a primer coat onto your miniatures, but I like to use a primer coat as it gives me something to work from. So what I've done is I've used some Rhinox hide for the fur areas and some of the leather and for the beard I use some alien flesh and um, for the skin I'm going with frost blue and that uh, is a fantastic color I absolutely love that color perfect for frost giants um, all the mail I used um, army painter um, plate mail and I've used some graveyard bone for the horns now what will happen now is once this is dry I can start dry brushing all the fur areas um, and then we'll be adding ink washes to the browns and we'll add a black ink wash to all the metal areas and then we go over the areas and just do some highlighting with the chainmail we're using the lighter silver and we'll use some whites on the beard um, but I'll come back and show you that once we get started the base I have given a grey undercoat um, I'll give that um, uh, an ink wash of black, a black ink wash, um, but I will be showing you how to put some snow on the base later on. So all the ink wash is dry now and as you can see all the black is done on the base. All the chain mail has been given a nice black ink wash too and that looks great. Same with the axe. So what I'm going to do now is quickly show you what I'm going to do with the fur. Now I've got some Games Workshop dry brush paints. I'm going to use uh, gold, gold fag brown and terminators stone. So I'm going straight into the brown first. And I'm just going to take the paint off. And go onto the fur. Just picking out the colours. It's very simple. This will just give a first highlight to the fur. Like so. Can't see it too well on the camera, but it's there. And then all we do is we go straight into the Terminator's stone. Take off the excess paint. And just go around the edges of the fur. This will make it look like it's worn around the edges. What we do then is we'll go over this with a light ink wash. And then once the ink wash is dry, we'll go back over with a very fine dry brush 
of Terminator Stone. Now we've got to this stage, um, I'm going to start highlighting the um, plate mail uh, with silver. I'm going to be using Shining Silver by Army Painter, and it's a very simple thing to do. You just take your brush, let's get rid of this, there we go. and we go along the edge of the axe just along the edge and this will give a nice reflection like so just to the edge of the blade and we do the same to all the high areas of the miniature so again it would be on the tips like so there just on the top of the helmet there same on the other side and we're going across the top of this here and as you can see it gives a lovely reflection same on the side of the cuffs just delicate Directly on the edge, like so. There we are. Can you see the light reflecting off it as I move it around? There. And it'd be the same on all the highest areas. So just here, and a tiny bit there. Just certain areas that will catch the light. There we go. And here. And here. There you are, see? What I'll do now is we all move on and get the base all snowed up. I have to put some ink wash on the back there and then pick out the ropes and that'll be done. Looking fantastic, beautiful miniature. With the beard I gave that a brown ink wash and I will now I will give that a dry brush with um, a cream. I'll probably go for a graveyard bone and I'll just do that on the tips and at the bottom of the beard just to give it a little bit more reflection. Okay, let's move on to the snow base. Now what I've done first is I wanted to create a frosty looking base which is cold. So using the terminator stone that I showed you before, I dry brushed quite heavily over the rocks. That has given it a nice um, white coating which makes it look frosty, it looks cold. So now we want to add some snow to the miniature base. Now all we need for this is some PVA glue. I'm using some Butterfields Snow by Army Painter. And this is how I use my snow. It's very simple. Um, I only want patches of snow, so I'm just gonna put a little bit into an old, this is an old blister pack, bubble pack from one of my Reaper miniatures, uh, like so. And all we do is we add some of the PVA glue to the mix. And then we just get your little mixing knife and mix in, mix in the PVA glue with the snow. And we're looking for a nice paste. You want the snow nice and fluffy. There we are. Just like that. That's all we need to do for to make lovely snow. There. Perfect. Now what we do is we want to put some uh, PVA glue onto our base. So I am going to put a little bit in the corner of this and I'm going to use an old brush 
And what I'll do is I'll apply the PVA glue to parts of the base where I want to add some snow. And the reason we do this is it will help the PVA snow stick to the base because what happens if you don't add some PVA to the base of the miniature once the uh, snow has dried it can peel away so this is this way you are helping the snow stick to the base so it's quite important to do this there we are oh, once that's done all we do is you add the snow it's simple as that on it goes let's push it down like that there we are let it go in between the little stones and the pebbles make it look more natural I think one more and that'll be us just here let's see if I can get this off with my finger And that's how you add some snow to your bases. Now, all I'll do is I'll get the miniature finished and I'll come back and show you it all done. So here we are. This is the finished Frost Giant Warrior. I added some flock in and some little bit clumps of grass to the base. I also added a little bit of snow to the beard and the shoulder pads and that works great. I added some light reflections to all the little buckles and belts, um, all the rivets, just to show a little bit of light source going down, like on the back there. And you can see it's reflecting there. As for the skin, I never showed you the skin. Very simple. Um, I used the uh, blue, the frost blue by MSP, and then I went over with a soft tone ink wash by Army Painter. And once that had dried, I went back over with the, with the blue and then added a tiny bit of white to the blue just on the fingertips and around just to give a little bit more definition. The little, the hands have got rings on them. Absolutely beautiful little miniature. So let me show you what I'm going to be up doing next week. Next week, we're back to the Titan sized miniatures. This is the Ancient Dragon. This is a Bones Black special miniature. Absolutely huge. This is a big dragon. A very, very big dragon. Look at this wingspan. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. This is not going to be an easy paint. Can't even spin it around on my table. <laughs> so, next week, Ancient Dragon, Bones Black. Come join the fun. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. And um, all patrons are added to the credits of all my videos to say thank you. Also, don't forget to check out Reaper Miniatures uh, Kickstarter, Bones 5. It is now live um, and I've already backed for the core set and a few of the miniatures. 
And by the time the Kickstarter finishes, I'd have probably spent all my pocket money. So, until next time. Okay, you can all go now, please. Leave me alone!